Well guys, we just got done with our interview day today. It was an incredible day, but we did have five interviews. That's the most I've had so far, but it was still very good. So I want to meet you some of the, my, I want you guys to meet some of my MedPeds buddies. Say hey. hi guys. Hello. Hi. What's your guys' names? Hi, this is Mohammad Shabir. I had a very long day. It had been <laughs> lovely. We had like five interviews. Everybody was so nice. Uh, Hi, what my name is Ahmed Nawaz. And I'm very lucky that I met with Dr. Martin. <laughs> and I hope I will meet him soon again. Thank you. All right, guys. So we got to get changed up. But just a quick piece of advice. Wherever you go, make sure to meet everyone you can and form great friendships. Because these are things that will last a lifetime. So love on everyone you meet and make some great friends on the interview trail. All right, after a long interview day, no better way to get your mind right than to get a good lift in. So I have about three hours before I have to catch my plane at seven o'clock. So we're gonna get some legs in. Hope you guys enjoy. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. Chase the night, race all of these broken dreams and flight. So, my lips were not the best. A little disappointed with him. It was pretty weak today, but we will get it back. No worries. So, we got a three mile run now um, that I have to get in so I get all my running in for the day. And then I have to get to the hotel hopefully by 5.15. Uh, I still have one more ab circuit to do. It's 4.31 right now. So, I have to get this done. Get to the airport, get my stuff, and get on that plane home. Oh. Always make sure you have a way to have your phone charged. So of course I have to call an Uber when I get here and my phone is completely dead and so I was not able to get the Uber I need. So right now I am waiting until my phone charges so I can call Uber. So I definitely need this to charge fast so I can get home, pack for my interview tomorrow and get some sleep since I have to be at work at 6.30 tomorrow morning. It's gonna be a rough day tomorrow. As you guys can see, it is super early right now. It's about 1.50 and I have to get up at about 5.30 to make sure I'm not late for work, so I have to get some shut-eye. So I'm gonna be signing off now. I hope you guys had an incredible day. We'll see what else is in store for the rest of this week on the interview trail tomorrow. Good night, sweet dreams, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning, guys. It is about 5.50 right now. I'm just about to finish getting dressed. Then I need to go get some lunch prepared and my dinner prepared and also breakfast for this morning. So hopefully I can get that going pretty quickly. So I am a little tired, didn't get too much sleep, but that does not mean today will not be a good day. Remember, you make any day, every day, what you want it to be. So I am deciding that today, regardless of how tired I am, is going to be a great, great day. I'm going to love all my patience with endless love and relentless passion even if I fall asleep on them <laughs> so I better get moving get cooking and then get to the hospital let's make today a great great day Up here, 
guys can see, it has been an absolutely crazy busy morning because I wanted to make sure to prepare all of my meals, my breakfast, lunch, and dinner so I didn't have to buy them later. Save as much money as you can on this interview trail because it is so crazy expensive. So packing your own food definitely helps a lot. So now I'm here at the hospital. I'm on my pediatric sub I sub I, which I've absolutely loved. But I do have to get in there, sign out at about 6.30, and it is 6 27 right now so I need to get in there but after work I will be back videoing and I'll give you guys some tips about your residency interviews on my way I hope you guys have an incredible day and please make sure that you love on everyone you see show them Jesus and be a beacon of light to the world today What's going on YouTube? Well, I am now out of work and I'm on my way to another interview and I am going on about three and a half hours of sleep and so this is gonna be a long drive. It's about six hours so I probably will not get there till about nine o'clock tonight but we are gonna make it and when we get there we have a long run to do because it is speed day on our marathon training and so I have to get that workout in. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick update of my day at the hospital and then give you guys some interview tips. And so my day at the hospital today, I was on the pediatric floors, which I absolutely love because I love pediatrics in general. And I really do love the floors because it is a very educational setting and you do teaching rounds, which is just an opportunity to really, really learn a ton. Do not worry if attendings pimp you all day long. It is a very good thing because it makes you uncomfortable. And when we are uncomfortable, that is when we will grow and that's when we will learn the most so it's a very very important time all right so now going on to interview tips actually I think I might just wait a little bit for that I'm driving I really shouldn't be vlogging so how about we do that either tonight or in the morning before my interview sound good so I'm gonna sign off now and I'm gonna jam out put on some more tunes and get this road trip going and stay energized so I do not fall asleep while I'm driving so let's do this Okay, so just a warning, I usually listen to Christian channels, and don't hate me for this, but I am not a fan of Christmas music, and especially when I'm going on three, three and a half hours of sleep, Christmas music probably is just not going to do it for me. I'm not going to be able to stay awake with that. So I've got some of this, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, pop music playing right now, so let's listen to some of that. Yeah, I do not know the words. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your rover that I know you can't afford. We have finally made it. We are now here in our hotel, and I am about to have to go get this 11 mile run in. So, for our marathon training today, I have a two mile warm up, six mile of speed work with that easy mile in between those, and a two mile cool down. So, a total of 11 miles before I get to come back and crash on this glorious, glorious bed. So, it should take me about an hour and a half to two hours. So I will see you guys after that. I'm going to sign off for now. I'll come tell you guys good night once I crush this run. Okay, so I'll see you guys in just a little bit. 
So I just got back from my workout. It was absolutely incredible. Um, on my last one and a half mile repeat, I did a 627 pace, which is one of the faster paces I've done with the 20 pound best. So I was pretty pumped about that. So I said I was gonna give you guys some tips about interviewing and residency interviews, but honestly, I don't want to quite yet. And I know this video is already really long, but just when I was running, I really wanted to share with you guys something that's been on my heart or just some passages that I've read um, in the Bible. So this is my Bible, it's an NIV Bible, so I'm not gonna read from it, because the passage, I actually like the ESV version a little bit better so I'm gonna read you that um, and hopefully it'll encourage and inspire you guys because it definitely does me so let's get to it Romans 5 3 not only that but we rejoice in our sufferings knowing that the suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us and so I just want this to encourage you guys because you know, we're, we all go through sufferings, you know, whether it's through medical school or family troubles or different obstacles in all areas of our life, we are going to go through sufferings. And this verse kind of tells you that like, look, you are going to go through sufferings, but do not, do not relent, do not give up because that, because those sufferings are gonna produce in you great endurance. And then as you endure, as you get through these struggles and these trials, they're gonna produce they're gonna produce in you great perseverance, which in turn is gonna build your character up and then give you this enormous hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. And so I just want you to kind of hold on to these things. And when you're going through trials and when you're going through obstacles, just kind of pause for a second, reflect and say, wait, this is actually a good thing. I know it hurts, I know it stinks right now, but it's gonna produce in me great, great endurance and perseverance and gonna build my character and going to really foster the hope I have in Jesus Christ. So this verse really helps me to get through sufferings. I hope it does you as well. I have to get in the shower, got to get some shut-eye, and get to this interview tomorrow. I love you guys greatly. Good night and sweet dreams.